morning, Boomer. What do you have to say this morning? Huh? Boomer. Yeah. Oh. Yay! That was a big jump. <laughs> yeah, that was a big jump. You're a big boy now. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, quick update. They're not going to do a third surgery on my dad, but he's going to be in the hospital for a little while because they don't want to send him home until they know more about what's going on with his kidneys, and hopefully his kidney function is back to normal. Yay! So, it's good news that they're not going to do another surgery, but he's very, very depressed because he is stuck in the hospital. Yeah. So, and it's so far away from home. Yeah, and... If people are having a little trouble being out there with them. Yeah, my sister is unable to stay at the hospital right now because her son um, is graduating from the Army, so she needs to go and she wants to go and see him graduate, which I can understand completely. My mother was staying with him, but she ran out of um, some of her pain medication from having her knee surgery and she has and, dogs to take care and of. she has dogs that she needs to go home and take care of and you know sleeping in a hospital chair um after her just having surgery has got to be a little uncomfortable for her so right now he's at the hospital by himself and of course i don't like did that, that. bite you freckles what happened there buddy i think your phone fell on him <laughs> and of course I don't like him being at the hospital all alone but yeah. I can't go back out because my surgery is Friday yay and nothing so far knock on wood <laughs> has prevented it good so how is your day going Fine. Boomer and I are hanging out. I had to clean his butt. He's got a stinky butt. Yes, don't, he does. You don't want to see that. Uh, you want to clean? Yes, we got to clean today because Sarah's bringing over some of the bigger Halloween stuff today. I should probably, if if I can, straighten up the garage again. Make some room in there. Um. Well, first, if you can help me do the appliances in the kitchen. Um, that's the main thing, and the floors are the main thing. Alright, that's easy enough. You know, because I, pretty much everything else is done, because I've been keeping it clean. And again, I didn't go to sleep till... I don't know what's up. What's with you? I'm manic right now. Okay. Manic. She wakes me up in the middle of the night again. I'm manic right now. Very, very manic. I have to have my house all clean, and I can't sleep, and I'm very, very excited. And just ask Angie, because when I glide with Angie, this is the way I talk with Angie. I just keep going and going and going, and I can't seem to stop, and Kevin is just laughing at me because I just keep talking and talking and talking and talking. Like this, Mojo, I just don't stop. I just keep going and going and going and going and going and going, like the little Energizer Buddy with batteries in it that just never die. Okay. See you later. Bye for now. Hey everybody. So the house is all clean. Floor is mopped thanks to Kevin. He mopped the floor. And everything's dusted and vacuumed and in its proper places. And We put a dress on uh, Monica. Monica. Since everybody was complaining. She needed to, you know, have clothes on. Okay. Can't have a naked woman running around the house. It's, it's a mannequin. She still needed clothes on. <laughs> All right, Freckles. So, I'm going to sit and watch a little bit of TV and maybe take a nap until Sarah and them come over. And what are you going to do?
do, baby? I'm going into the garage. So, Boomer, just kind of hanging out here. Right, Boomy? Val's working on shout outs. Shout outs. Boomer's just hanging out. <laughs> Pinch your nose. <laughs> so everybody, I wanted to give you guys all an update on the lone wolf. He is still in the hospital. They are not going to do the other surgery, a third surgery. They decided not to do that. But they did find out um, a little bit of information. Um, apparently, when he was in the hospital for the second surgery, and he was sent home with the PIC line and the antibiotic drip, he was given the wrong antibiotics. And that is what caused his blood pressure to go up so high and his kidney functions to crash. crash. So that's why all of this has happened. Um, he is on um, different antibiotics right now. He is still in the hospital. He's going to be there for a little bit longer um, because they want to monitor him and um, make sure that his kidneys are back functioning properly because now that he is on the right antibiotic his kidneys are no longer crashing so once again it was the first time he went into renal failure it was his fault because he wasn't drinking enough water uh, this time it was because he was on the wrong antibiotics so Glad he doesn't have to have another surgery. Hope he can get out of the hospital soon. He, he really needs to get home. He's very depressed. So Sarah's on her way over and she's bringing the unknown boyfriend and they're dropping off all of our major Halloween props. And we're gonna see if we could uh, spook her with Monica, Monica Mannequin. So we'll set that up right now. Hello? Oh, hello, lady. You're missing a hand. Waffles, I can't hear what she's saying. She's missing a hand. I might have one in the truck. No, she was not supposed to have a hand. I didn't say I could attach it, I just said I might have an extra one in the truck. So we're starting to move in the furniture for the Halloween party. These are Sarah's antique chairs and couch. Yes, we have special furniture that we use for the Halloween party. Here's Kevin. And here comes the unknown boyfriend with some stuff. The fog machine. <laughs> Bricks. For the back of the, in the couch. coffin. Bricks in the coffin and they wonder why it's so heavy. <laughs> so we got our other coffin, so that means uh, Halloween is officially started here at the uh, neighbors. Right, Boomer? Boomer, my shadow. Boomer, my stalker. So Sarah brought us a gift. We have um, uh, Annabelle's little sister here, Rose. And uh, we don't have batteries in her yet, but uh, we'll definitely have her wandering around with Annabelle Halloween. 
So, this is the beginning. The beginning of the end. <laughs> the beginning of the liquid diet. This is the start. She has to drink all of her food for the next day. For the next few days. Well, you know, if the doctor told me I had to go on a liquid diet, I would drink beer. <laughs> I'm not allowed to have alcohol. Oh, that's no fun. And I guess it's got carbs in it because it's uh, it's yeah. basically liquid bread. So yeah, what a day! And I... um, tomato soup is not one of the soups that is allowed on my liquid diet. Are so you? I decided to have my tomato soup tonight because tomorrow. No more. No more. She has a half hour to finish her soup. Okay, so it's the end of today's vlog. We've got a whole uh, living room full of um, all of our really fun stuff. Mortuary stuff and um, Monica Mannequin over here. Got to move the rats tomorrow. Got the twins over here. I don't even want to tell you what this is. So that's it for today. I hope you liked the vlog. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to uh, push that button, subscribe, and I feel like Fred now. Um, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Talk to you later. Bye.